Aircella is a clean energy startup based in New York City that's doing something really interesting. They claim to make fossil-free, engine-ready gasoline by pulling carbon dioxide straight from the air and turning it into liquid fuel using renewable electricity. Sounds futuristic, right? But before you get too excited, a lot of people are asking the big question. Is this legit or just hype? So stick around as we break it all down in simple terms. First off, yes, making synthetic gasoline from CO2 is scientifically possible. That part isn't in question. But here's the thing. A lot of users online point out that the energy and cost involved in doing this at a large scale just doesn't make sense right now. It's like trying to build a spaceship to go grocery shopping. Cool, but maybe not the most efficient way. Next, some people argue that if we already have access to solar or nuclear energy, why not use it directly to power electric vehicles instead of turning it into gasoline? Each time you convert energy from one form to another, you lose some of it, and that adds up quickly. Another big concern is the source of the CO2. Pulling it from the air sounds great in theory, but CO2 is super diluted in the atmosphere. Many think it would be way more efficient to capture it from places where there's already a lot of it, like factory emissions or industrial waste streams. Now, here's where it gets a little dicey. A lot of people are pretty skeptical about the actual Aircella machine itself. They mention there's not much peer-reviewed research available, and the product demos feel more like a tech pitch than a serious scientific breakthrough. Some even compared it to Theranos. At the end of the day, most people find the idea really fascinating and full of potential, especially for the future. But right now, it just doesn't seem commercially or technically realistic. The energy demands are high, the costs are steep, and there's not a lot of transparency around how it all actually works. So in short, yes, synthetic gasoline from air is possible, but don't expect it to replace regular fuel anytime soon. Maybe one day, with big breakthroughs, it'll carve out a niche. But for now, it's more of a cool concept than a practical solution. Thanks a ton for watching. If you found this helpful or interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future updates.